this is an important night in Hagerstown. Um, and all these folks have come out to remember uh, the violence that trans people endure and to raise awareness. And I think what's most important for us as community is to move beyond diversity and to celebrate inclusivity. And, um, and tonight, I think we're making a good step there. Today is the day we remember the transgender people who have involuntarily given their lives, who've been killed because they were transgender, because they were true to themselves, and because they defied um, some kind of so social rule. Uh, it's it's hard to say what the social rule is. Uh, trans people are seem to be the last group that people feel okay discriminating against, and it's wrong. My name is Josh Johnson. Um, I'm standing here today because although in our modern times, mainstream homosexuals such as lesbian and gays have been uh, fastly accepted by overall society, but um, the latter half of our community, this transgender and transsexuals, um, they tend not to get much of the spotlight as much as gay and lesbian people do, and they should. They're our brothers and sisters, and we're here today just to remember uh, those that struggle and still fight the fight. My name is Lara. Uh, I've, I've been trans for the past 60 years. Um, much of that time I was hiding in the shadows and heavily into denial. And I did what was expected of me as a man. Um, the past few years I've come to terms with this situation and rather than wanting to hide, I have to be here. Um, there are other people who are struggling and there are children and if we can help further this issue, um, the acceptance level must be increased, especially for our children. And that's what's important to me. This is important for me both personally and professionally because personally I have people in church and friends of mine who are transgendered and it's important for me because they're important to me. And it's also important for me professionally because as a pastor, the gospel is about compassion and love and justice. Those are gospel values. And when Christians don't stand up for those and use the scriptures as a weapon, they're doing a disservice to their faith. And I think it's time that the liberal church stand up and say that these are inherently gospel values of love and justice and compassion. I am relatively new to the area and I'm serving as interim pastor at New Light MCC, which is a part of the United Fellowship of MCC Churches, and I'm glad to be here in solidarity. You're welcome. I'm here because my spouse is transgender and it's I've known a number of transgender people over the years and as far as I'm concerned there's no justification for people dying, being murdered, committing suicide or any being even being harmed in any way just for doing what everyone does and want to be themselves. change gender, typically you lose everything. Your family, your friends, your job, all the things in your life go away because ordinarily so many people just have a terrible time 
understanding how you cannot how you cannot be the person that the doctor said you were when you were born. So thank you very much. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a good night for Hagerstown. It's a good night for the, the trans community to come together. It's a good night for the gay community, our straight allies, uh, to, to come together. So, thank you. Thanks for organizing. Yeah, thank you. This is good. Thank, you. thank you, John and John. Yes. And, uh, and for all those who, who were victims of the violence in the last year, uh, to remember them, uh, the most marginalized.